Welcome to Mac Galaxy. And in this video, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show some uh, some techniques in function analysis to uh, to generate the norm of a linear function. Okay, over a functions of continuous function. I mean, space of continuous functions. All right. So at first, uh, consider the space X, which uh, defined by this way. All those uh, functions match from let's say a equals to r such that that uh, f is continuous okay so we talk about this space x so x basically a uh, constitute of all those continuous functions match from this a equals interval to r and uh, of course you know that uh, basically x together with this uh, sub norm is basically a banach space okay it's a banach b a c h it is basically a banach space so we define a, a linear functional on this space x okay and what is the linear functional just like this let's uh, say phi or phi or phi like that phi match from x to r and defined by that way so if there is some xt belongs to x okay this phi x defined by a to b x t d t what right? so this is how we can define it so if uh, a continuous function belongs to the space x then we can define phi x via this rule okay and we can clearly see that this is linear because we can see that if phi x plus y is generally equals to x t plus y t d t and we know that since x and y are basically continuous uh, continuous from a b to r so on this closed interval it is basically bounded okay and we know that the measure of this domain is basically b minus a so it is clearly uh, linear okay and we know this value is basically this value basically belongs to r so it is clearly a linear function uh, from x to r so r of course we got it r with basically the usual norm or sometimes called the usual topology and x of course together with this sub norm all right so it's generally like sub norm to the usual norm or sometimes the usual metric sometimes called the default metric yeah so you can see that this is very basically very clear this is phi x plus uh, phi y just the dimensions or you can consider it at, at as little sense but what we do here basically this okay so we consider like this thing is camera on okay so we define that that phi x is defined by a to b x t d t okay so we will uh, consider we will consider or we will generate that what is the norm phi means what is the norm of this linear function of phi okay so that is basically some uh, basically you can say some uh, like mouth watering problem in function is to uh, determine the norm of this function that first we can see that phi x mod is generally equal to a b into x t d t of course which is basically less than equals to at first we can see that this is b minus a okay b minus a and into of course supremum of x t over t okay and what is this basically we can see that less equals to and supremum a t a x t is basically mod and that that part is generally called the sup norm of x okay that is the sup norm of x sup norm means basically uh, the maximum value of the function that is called the sup norm so from here you can see that phi x mod uh, basically less equals to okay that's not right so from this relation basically that uh, phi x mod is generally this from here you can see that the norm of phi is basically less equals to p minus a okay and we can see that uh, b minus a basically positive because here we can clearly see that b greater than a okay of course that is positive and uh, b is always greater than a so we can see this now all we have to do is to uh, what is the uh, defi definition of this so definition of this is very clear like let's say phi x by x norm okay and that should be basically the supremum of this set 
So we want this set such that uh, basically phi x, I mean x not equals to 0. x not equals to 0. Okay? That is basically the definition of uh, norm of a function. And from here we can see that phi already less equals to this b minus a. So all we have to do is to find uh, some point or sign, find some continuous functions, uh, function or functions so that that phi x or mod of phi x uh, that should be greater than equals to uh, b minus a. But then we can uh, find that idea. So here a particular function which is basically called this function, the constant is one, it will work. So how like this that so phi norm is generally greater than equals to what will happen like what is phi x so mod of phi x divided by sup norm of x so what is sup norm of x here is basically 1 and what is mod of phi x uh, we can see this is phi x means this phi x and phi x means this means a to b 1 dt and this means it is b minus a by 1 so from here you can see that norm of this is greater than equals to b minus a and of course from this 1 and from this 2 we can clearly see that norm of phi is generally equals to b minus a okay so that is the idea here and we can generalize this basically so we can generalize this way that phi x we can define this okay we can define this like this that uh, x or you can see e over x t dt where measure of e basically less equals to infinity less than infinity okay if the functional was defined by that way then the norm of this functional will be equal to measure of e okay measure of e whatever e may be but here we take particularly that uh, the set e is basically equals to here a less equals to x less equals to t this is a particular of e but we can take any any subset of r here but then that will be replaced by e so that is a fun part okay and here we can take e as a subset of basically r some finite subset or some compact complex space because complex space is basically living measure is finite and if you talk about some other topology then we can basically replace this by some particular let's say uh, uh, let's say m and we can give some topology on m and we can generate something like that of course then uh, the, the integration won't be defined like that way so we have to define some like other measure okay? like hard measure or uh, Latin measure like that that's what it is so generally this norm is basically minus okay thanks for watching